You know, Brennan, I hear all this walking is really good for your calves. I suppose it was a healthy thing to come here after all. I'm not talking to you. Well, you know, you sort of are because I'm talking and you're responding to me. You really, you, you think you're funny, don't you? I do. Well, I hate to break it to you, man, but you're really not. Well, my humor is not for everyone. God, would you just shut up? I, I don't even want to be at this stupid camp. I just want to go home. You're lost. Not lost. Back off. Can't find the trail. Doesn't that mean you're lost? I am seconds away from knocking you out. Good luck. You know, I'm glad at least one of us is getting amusement out of this, because I'm sure as hell not. You know, you can get help if you need it. It's standing right in front of you. I don't... I don't need help, okay? I need you to leave me alone, all right? Banish, do anything except breathe down my neck. Okay, so first I leave, and you get angry, and then I come back, and you're even angrier still. I truly do not understand you, Brennan. Dude, why do you have to joke about it? What? No, you know what? Don't joke about it. I'm sorry, man. I'm just trying to lie in the mood. I understand you being stressed and on edge, being lost and all. God damn it! Be serious for a second! You, you are so selfish! Look, Brennan, I'm just trying to fix why I messed up, you know? No! No, you know what? I don't know! Why do you even care, alright? Why are you trying oh so hard to fix it now? Brennan, I just- You left! You are truly unbelievable. I mean, what? Best friends for what? How long? Like 12 years? We hang out every day, and then all of a sudden, poof! You're gone! You vanish out of the blue with no warning, no farewell? And now you come back dragging me to this stupid camp to what? Apologize? I didn't mean to hurt you, Brennan. I didn't do I it. I don't even want to hear an excuse for it. Dude, seriously, keep going. No, I mean, dude, I'm not even that good at it. Stop that, yes you are. You're insanely talented, man. I can see you doing this as a living someday. You're gonna have fans lining the streets. You do realize that you're like the only person to ever say that, right? Whenever I try to play for somebody else, I either get ignored or yelled at to play Wonderwall. I'm serious, dude. You're good. You just gotta keep it up. You're only gonna get better and better, you know. No, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I have like so many more important things I should be focusing on, you know? Nope. That's bullshit. You're insanely talented, man. You don't actually believe that. Yes, I seriously do. Here, look. Um, my dad and I were out and around on the town a couple of days ago, and we stopped by a music store, and this was in a bin with a couple others for 10 cents a piece, and you know, it was the only thing I could really afford, but I figured you, you could never have too many, right? Hmm. Thanks, man. Bullshit. All right? I mean, I, he, he left me, okay? I mean, I, I was a pretty good friend, wasn't I? I? I know that he didn't do it to hurt me, I know, but I can't help but to just be furious at him. God, I am so tired of this. I just want to go home. I am tired of being lost. You admit that you're lost. I'm done.
So, how's Rebecca? It's been different after you left. It's fine. You know you have never met her if it wasn't for me, right? I'm aware. <laughs> Remember how you first introduced us? You mean when you were so crazy drunk that you couldn't say your first name before you vomited all over yourself? Hey, all right, that was my fault, okay? I didn't know my limit. It was my first time. Well, you're the one drinking underage, you delinquents. Yeah, so are you. Don't try to act so high and mighty. Oh, whatever. What happened, man? It should all be so simple. Back when we were kids. Before we grew up. Before you left. I'm sorry. Hey, so you're getting used to the guitar pick. Yeah, it's actually uh, the only one I use now. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah. Hey, man, don't, um, don't give up on the music and stuff, okay? Yeah, man. All right. Well, I better get out of your hair. Oh, all right. Hey, man. Be safe, okay? Yeah, sure. You know, it's probably for the best that you're here in the long run. Lost in the woods. So you do admit that you're lost. God damn it, Jason. What? I am so done with everything. With you, this life, these stupid woods. Brennan. No. All right, I'm done. I am tired of being lost. I'm tired of being alone. Brennan, you're not alone. You were really not funny. What are you talking about? You were all that I had, all right? My only friend who left me to deal with everything on my own. Okay, I think you're exaggerating a bit. You have Rebecca. She left me, all right? She, she cheated on me, and then she left. Things changed when you left, man. Like, she told me I was too distant. I, I, I wasn't enough for her, and she left me. She said that I was more in love with you than I would ever be with her. What a bitch. God, be serious for a second! Why? Where's the point in that? What's the point in being so damn serious all the time? This is a serious topic! How are you not more upset by it? Did you not care? Did you not think about me ever? Not everything is about you, Brennan. It's my choice. You didn't even let me in. You never talked to me or told me what you were thinking? I couldn't. Why? It's my job to take care of you, not the other way around. Oh, well, you've done a great job of that. Well, I convinced you to come here somehow, didn't I? At least I'm trying to make up for it. I don't even want to be here! Well, where do you want to be? With you! Well, you can't be! It's not your time. Hey, Brennan. I mean, it's pretty much gone now. We should head out, too. Uh, yeah. I'll be ready in a few minutes. How are you feeling? Bad. I'm sorry. I just don't get why he did it. And it just seems so selfish. No one gets it. He didn't leave a reason in his note or anything. Just a good I, one. I read it. I could have stopped him. No. Stop. You can't put this on yourself. It's not your fault. You're fine. I'm not. I just feel so lost.
I just don't get why you did it. It's the only way I saw out. You didn't even talk to me or let me help or anything. There was no way you could have helped. Why? Why, why couldn't I? Nobody could. Not even the doctors or the medicine. Once I made the decision, it was set. There was no going back. You, you never even seemed like you were... Not many people like me do. Jason. Listen, right now we're talking about you. It's time for you to face what's really going on. You can't find the trail. You're lost and it's my fault. I brought you here. You have to understand that what I did wasn't meant to hurt you. It was my decision. A stupid decision, maybe, but it had nothing to do with you. I wish I could go back and change it, but I can't. Nobody can. But I just don't want to see you go down the same path as I did. I just want you to come back, man. I can't. I can't, and you know that, and you need to accept that. That's why you're here. I could have helped, man, if you would have just talked to me. Listen. You need to quit all the self-pity. It's about time you've come to terms with these things, Brennan. I'm always going to be your biggest fan, and I'll still be here as long as you remember. Pick up the guitar, man. It's been a year since the world has heard you play. Since, since I've heard you play. I want to hear Wonderwall, man. <laughs> I'm always going to root you on, brother. I know. Just live for me, man. Have a good life. Are you ready to go home? Yes. Goodbye, Brennan. Bye, Jason. No, no, we, we haven't found him yet. No, d don't call the authorities. They're gonna blow this whole thing out of proportion. We just need a little more time. I'll talk to you later. Jesus Christ, Brendan, we've been looking for you all day. We have 10 counselors sent in looking for you. Sorry, I was... I was a little bit lost. All right, well, it's not safe to be going off in the woods alone like that. It can be dangerous out there. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. 